For those who have watched the, this video in the past, I apologize for the poor audio quality. Anyway, the 3D models that were created in this little kind of Star Wars fan film, I, why use 3D models? Well, when you work with a two-dimensional model in a program, say, or a 2D picture in After Effects, I'm sure you're going to be able to rotate the picture kind of left and right. As, as I'm doing here but as soon as you start to kind of try and flip the image or, or working in any kind of 3d space then it's going to be obvious that the image is just basically a flat image so it's not going to be you know it's not going to have any kind of re realistic look to it in your movie so yes I can zoom in kind of z space um, but it's like I said as soon as you start to kind of try and flip this thing around on any of the other axes you're gonna end up with a, a flat looking image which isn't, isn't gonna sell the sell your your effect particularly well so what I did was um, well, for a start what do I mean by 3d so let's take a look at um, a 3d model in SketchUp itself that's already been created So clearly I can take a look at this image from any angle and it's still 3D. So I found myself a collection of um, Star Wars models or 3D models on the net, downloaded them, popped them into Google SketchUp and I uh, videoed my screen with, with some screen capture software. SnapX in this case. So import your um, your model. Here's a wireframe. This particular model isn't the one that I used in the end, but um, gives you an example of how it looks. So you can see, using the mouse, you can pretty much move this thing around. So in some cases I did actually animate just using the bit of the mouse wiggle. Sometimes I animated actually in SketchUp itself. You need to set just um, your background to a solid colour, so in this case I chose blue. Here's the actual model that I went with in the end. So you may choose to animate in SketchUp itself. In this case I actually needed a scene where the, the spaceship lost control and it was a lot easier just to kind of wiggle my mouse around. And then um, add your effects and after effects. Sometimes a little bit of lighting and after effects helps sell the, um, the image even though it's only 2D. So I didn't really need 3D but in this case I used some shadows to help sell the effect. And that's pretty much it. I hope this is a, a much better sound and audio recording than my um, last effort. Thanks.